YouTube, what it do? Welcome back to my channel, KB's World. Uh, been doing these reviews or reactions to documentaries Vice been putting out uh, about the dark side of the ring. It's season one and season two. They're on season two so far, so I've been seeing a lot of the season two, so I've been having fun reviewing them. So we're about to get into that today. So what I'm gonna get into today is um, this gonna it's, it's called uh, Brawl for It All. Uh, basically, it was a tournament um, done by WWE. And it might have been WWF back then, but it was it was uh, was done way back for um, the toughest wrestlers in the in the locker room. As the as the documentary unfolded, you you went to see that uh, it was. First of all, let's go back. Uh, Nick Roos, Nick Russo, Nick Russo, um, a wrestler commentator. Wrestler, wrestler writer, wrestler writer. He wrote a, a lot of the um, the way the match was going to turn out, how the, which which direction they were going to go with the with the um, episodes and that type of thing. He was also known for the Monday Night Wars, so he was on the side of WWE, and then he actually went over to um, WCW um, at some point during the during War, or was it after? It was it was one of them. But now that I'm looking at all these wrestling documentaries, that for you all wrestling um, historians. Like uh, Jim Cornette, if, if you're um, if you're favorite with him, another writer, another type of wrestling personality behind the scenes. He also managed. He did a lot of stuff in wrestling. Um, as you see in the documentary for over 40 years, can I stand this dude Russo? Man, can I stand him? And he, he comes off. Russo comes off as kind of like a, uh, you know, for lack of better better words, a prick. So, um. He 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 was behind this this tournament this tournament which is basically putting wrestlers in a boxing situation and the toughest one. Um, one of the main reasons for this tournament was Russo had a big problem with JBL. Um, if you if you guys don't know, you can Google him. He's in the documentary also, but he had a big issue with JBL. Thought he was a bully. Thought he was kind of like um you know pompous and that type of thing. So he he said, well let's do a real tournament like so y'all get the hands up man. And get get down and um and he did that. He based the tournament around him because he thought a uh, few people would be able to um, knock him out or somebody was gonna be able to knock him out, which turned out JBL ended up going toward toward the end of the tournament. But you'll see that um, in, in the documentary. But but Russo and, and Cornette, man, this is kind of it's almost kind of comical to watch them like go at each other. So um, in the tournament, they had. They pretty much, um, it was when pre-scripted, they had an idea of who was going to win. So they had all these tough people. So one of the biggest people that they thought was going to win was um, Dr. Death, Steve Williams, um, who they, they refer to as JR's boy. I remember seeing him um, back in WCW, NWA day. Man, tough dude, um, career wrestler, that type of deal. And when he came over to WWF, he was kind of older now. He's the prize of this this song. Um, uh, tournament, the winner was gonna get that push. Um, at the time, Stone Cold was the was the was the big dude around uh, campus, so they were gonna you know push him towards Stone Cold. So they were setting up kind of like a Doctor Death, um, Stone Cold like tournament, and that's who they thought was gonna win. Um, so um, moving moving on, I guess the tournament started. The the the, the underdog that won was Bart Gunn from. Um, is he had that, that little cowboy tag team? Well, he was pretty, pretty tough dude. Um, he ended up, he ended up winning. He didn't have a boxing background, but he just a brawler. So um, he ended up, he ended up winning the tournament. But they have some spots where they had the Godfather in there. Um, he he he, got, he shot on some interesting stuff. Uh, Doctor Death, uh, who I remember, Too Cold Storbio. He wasn't really in there too much. Um, um, they, they're gonna have a spot in there with Butterbean. Check that out, man. It's, it's, it's interesting how it all unfolded. But at the end of the day, Bart Gunn won the tournament. Didn't get what he was promised, like that push. He, he got a WrestleMania spot, but it was to face Butterbean, and it was kind of like a punishment because he won the tournament. It was, it was kind of, it was kind of foul actually. But, <laughs> but yeah, he uh, the the the, the, the it was pretty interesting. It kept me, kept me uh. Stuck to the screen. Um, I, I kind of remember that tournament, but not really. But it was it was bad um, for wrestling overall because um, you didn't get the push that you wanted for the for the stars that you had. Um, you also um, 
you, you had a bunch of injuries, a bunch of injuries. Um, uh, you you had the, the, the yeah torn ACLs and hamstrings uh, for your for your star fighter. Uh, they were estimating they lost like around five million five million dollars um, in revenue in just that tournament because of injuries. People that couldn't couldn't um, uh, uh, wrestle, they're missing shows, that type of deal. Oh man, it just it was, it was bad for uh, business overall. Um, bad time in wrestling, but good documentary. So go go check it out. I'm gonna put the script the link in the description. Um, if you haven't subbed to my channel, please do so. Um, if you like the content, you know, I'm not forcing anybody to do anything, but um, hopefully you guys are staying safe, being healthy, drinking water, and 